A few weeks ago now, we got our first decent glimpse of Northrop Grumman's FAXX 6th generation fighter design for the US Navy. Now, Boeing is looking to get in on the action too, releasing this new render of their own FAXX design that suggests, among other things, that Boeing's new carrier fighter may have a lot in common with the F-47 that they're already building for the Air Force. Now, the Navy is still campaigning for the funds they need to award a production contract to one of these two firms left competing to design and build the Navy's next carrier fighter, a jet that will replace America's in-service fleets of F-A-18 Super Hornets and eventually its electronic attack sibling, the EA-18G Growler. Now, the Navy was expected to deliver this contract months ago now, but has seen the effort curbed by the White House, who says America can't sustain two high-end fighter programs at once and wants to see FAXX shelved indefinitely to focus on the Air Force's F-47. Of course, the Navy brass, along with a bipartisan group of lawmakers and, of course, executives from Boeing and Northrop Grumman, have all politely disagreed and continue to champion the effort as Congress deliberates on next year's budget. Now, last week, Northrop Grumman released a render of their FAXX design that bore a striking resemblance to the now legendary YF-23 that competed for the advanced tactical fighter contract that ultimately went to Lockheed's F-22. This week, Boeing released their own render that, like their previous F-47 renders, seems to suggest their fighter has canards or doesn't. Well, to be totally honest, the only thing that seems really consistent across Boeing's 6th Gen fighter renders lately is that they all seem to be equipped with fog machines that can carefully place vapor cones around any part of the design that they aren't keen on letting us see just yet. Now, at least one render of Boeing's F-47 does clearly depict an aircraft with canards, but we also know that these images are not expected to be entirely accurate. Other images seem to obscure the part of the aircraft where canards might be positioned, making it all the harder to really get a good sense of what Boeing's winning air superiority fighter design might even really look like. But based on this new render, we can now pretty confidently assume that Boeing's Navy proposal seems to be a carrier variant of that same aircraft that won the Air Force contract. And that isn't at all unheard of. While the DoD was hoping to avoid the issues that came along with the F-35 in the past, which were really tied to the decision to make a single aircraft with runway, carrier, and vertical landing variants, a fair portion of those headaches really came from the vertical landing variant. Converting a fighter design for carrier duty can be relatively straightforward, with deep enough pockets anyway. It just takes a reinforced fuselage, heavier duty landing gear, and a tail hook to start. But we should probably also expect a different wing layout for Boeing's carrier fighter, likely with a wider wingspan that allows for slower approaches for carrier landings, similar to how the Navy's F-35Cs boast a wingspan that's some eight feet wider than the Air Force's F-35A. And if it does have canards, well, those could actually come in pretty handy for those lower speed carrier landings, not to mention low speed maneuverability, though it depends on a lot of variables, and in a lot of cases, canards aren't really any different from having horizontal control surfaces on your tail empennage, though it does seem as though these sixth generation fighters are omitting a traditional tail. In any case, we know this new fighter is expected to offer a big boost in range, internal payload, and all aspect stealth over today's most advanced fighters. That is, you know, if the Navy ultimately gets to build them at all.